Hey Ragamuffins, I wanted to share some joy with you today. Some extreme joy. So if you haven't been following this story, you can get bulleted point updates in the post. I think they call it TLDR, what the kids call it these days. Too long didn't read, genius. I just got an email this morning that the Zumba home office sent me saying, hi Jamie, I hope you're doing well. Our customer care team shared your feedback regarding the before and after contest that was that in, was included in the, in the most recent Strong Nation challenge. I wanted to reach out to thank you for taking the time to share your concerns. We hear you. Please know that this component will no longer be a part of our challenges. Now, I don't know what this means. I don't know what the next step is in detail, <laughs> but it's a step and I'm excited. Dear Zumba Home Office, my name is Jamie Carbaugh and I have been an active Zen member since 2010 and a SYNC member since 2016. I have taught and continue to teach both formats virtually and have been a dedicated instructor for the past decade. I'm contacting you today to share my concerns with the most recent before and after picture challenge with a prize money package for participants that partake in the strong six week challenge. Before I go into why this messaging can be harmful, I would like to share my Zumba story. In 2010, when I started teaching Zumba on a military installation in Germany, I worked full-time at a gym. The gym was packed with men, hardly any women, but when I started teaching Zumba in a closed off area of the basketball court, two times a week, the class filled. After about four to five months, our class grew to about 70 to 100 participants regularly. To be honest, before taking the certification class in 2010 from Martha Forsomo in Germany, I had never set foot in a Zumba class. I saw an ad on TV and thought, hey, that looks kind of fun, and just went for it even though I was the only English speaking one in attendance. Zumba intrigued me. It was completely different than what I was used to as far as regimented exercise goes. And it was apparent during the training that it was about so much more than neon pants and booty shaking. <laughs> it was about joy. It was about laughter. It was about music and community. And by the end of the training, I was hooked. I practiced daily to prepare for my first class. Tanya, Beto, and Gina became household names. During the growth of the class, the Brigade on Post was deployed for 12 months, meaning spouses were filled with anxiety daily about their loved ones being at war. This class was more than just an hour workout. It put spouses' worries on the back burner and gave folks a place to come alive for an hour. Here are some memorable quotes from teaching that class. Quote, I have never felt comfortable in a gym, but here for some reason I feel at home. During class, I can let go of all the anxieties that plague me throughout the day. It's an hour that I look forward to and that I cherish so much. I tell you this because to me, this is what Zumba is all about at its core. It's a place, a time where folks can come together and let loose, a place where people felt comfortable, people felt a belonging, like no other community. Some people who came to a class would have never set foot in other parts of the gym. Those were the parts where judgment loomed or the parts where they were a body that needed to be fixed, not a person looking to find enjoyment and to be loved. This was my interpretation of Zumba's messaging. Then came Strong. When I first saw the promo ad by Ailee, Lee, I was floored. I had to get licensed. This class is my bread and butter. It's all the things I love about movement wrapped into a 60 minute class. The music, the moves, the strength building, all of it. Madeline Aponte was my licensing instructor in 2017. And about two to three weeks later, I began teaching classes. A couple months later, I started to get emails about the challenges every few months, six week challenges to include before and after transformation photos. I consciously chose as a strong instructor to never have my community participate in the challenges. You see, I run a business as a weight inclusive virtual personal trainer where I don't accept weight measurements or before and after photos. I want people to understand all the correlations between regular movement, increased flexibility, mobility, strength, etc. besides the aesthetics. And I truly believe that the Zumba messaging had a vital part in the development of how I currently run my business. I am fully aware that Strong Nation is a separate format than Zumba, but it also sits under the same corporate umbrella. So when you buy clothing from Zumba, where the tag on it says empowering messages such as, Hey, remember what a size won't tell you how awesome you are, like ridiculously awesome. What a great hair day you're having. How good you sound singing in the shower. 
You know the important stuff. It's not just about a size, it's about a state of mind. You are lovely. It can be confusing to the consumer when on the other hand, you are offering multiple cash rewards for appearing smaller and more toned in six weeks time. Empowering tags and mantras on one side and on the other side, you have a sister program that encourages its participants with an attached PDF, how to properly pose in a before and after photo. And I quote, choose clothing that really shows off your hard work, i.e. tight fitting workout gear, as well as stand at the same angle for each, as this is the best way to show off your total body tone up. There are many reasons as to why before and after photos are harmful. They lead us to believe that our worth lies in our body size and that smaller is always better. No matter what the circumstances, we cannot be sure what measures the participant has taken in order to become smaller in six weeks time. So congratulating them with a possible $750 prize could be encouraging disordered behaviors. In the US alone, every 62 minutes, at least one person dies as a result of an eating disorder. That means that in the time that I teach, that we teach a 60 minute class, someone has passed that was struggling with an eating disorder. Before and after photos to include a cash prize play into the narrative that smaller, fitter, and more toned is always better. I've always been blown away by how Zumba has adapted and overcame over the past decade that I've been a Zen and Sync member. The home office and crew, you all have done everything in your power to innovate consistently as evidenced by getting the best names in the music industry for dances, to the invention of strong, to the shift from Zumba kids to Zumbini, and not to mention the huge shift you all have taken in order to support the Zen community from going virtual due to COVID-19. There are a plethora of ways to measure progress in fitness other than using weight measurements and transformation photos. If you need help with coming up with ideas, I would love to offer my expertise as a weight inclusive personal trainer. I'm writing this letter because I love Zumba and because I love seeing how much light it brings to communities. I believe that Strong Nation has that ability as well. I highly encourage you to consider the ways in which your overall marketing message has the ability to fit into every format you offer, no matter what type of exercise it is. And remember, it's not just about a size, it's about a state of mind and you are lovely. In movement and laughter and kindness, Jamie Carbaugh, Zinn since 2010, Sync since 2016 through 17.